This episode is brought to you by Brewy, a coffee that nourishes your mind and body. Brewy is an organic coffee blend loaded with six adaptogenic mushrooms, so you can enjoy the benefits of superfoods while being fueled in your day-to-day life. To receive your Brewy discount code, tag a friend in this episode's coming soon post. Everybody to a matching episode of the UR Pod at UC Drake. We are down to the Apple Isle, where we're from, to match, 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 and uh, preview the Tassie Jack Jumpers. I'm a massive Jack Jumpers fan, no doubt about that. But I've never been to a live game of the Tasmanian Jack Jumpers. We'll get you to one. Only the Blitz. If we, uh, if we get big enough, we might uh, end up getting some free tickets or something. But uh, I'll tell you what, what they've done the last couple of years for a it's startup true. team is it's remarkable. It's brought the state together. Yeah. It's massive. North versus South, doesn't matter when you're in the JJ land. No, and it's a tough place to come play. I mm. can only hear it on the TV, mm. but it sounds like it gets fucking loud. It's like a party. It is a genuine party down there. It's like a real college atmosphere. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Not so much in Launceston. Silver Dome sucks. But uh, down in the nest, down at Moss. Bring State, it up the North West Coast, then there will be a party. Devonport. We'll run it out of the home of the Elmer Army. Hey? <laughs> run it out of the home of the Elmer <laughs> Army. Uh, so they've um, maintained a pretty steady roster. There's a few outs, but maintaining the captain, Clint Steindl. Good NBL player. Good, yeah. Good shooter. Good Had a good pretty player. down year last year coming off an injury. He did. Also injured in this preseason, but. Looks ready to go now for the I Blitz. I feel like every shot he shoots is going in. That's just how I feel yeah, with yeah. Like I just really like with the ball with hands. Unfortunately, mm. not many of them did go in last year. No. But I still feel confident. Yeah, he yeah. really looks like Jared Grant too, which I like. Microphone head. Here he is. Hey, Clint. <laughs> uh, Fabian Krizlovic. Love him. Really looked good in the preseason game against Melbourne. Mm. I know he didn't have much competition, but no. the pick and pop, he looked a lot more reliable mm. on the pick and pop. Yeah, I think, I think he's uh, he's good. I think he's very underrated. My oh, man, Fab. Now, our man, the smiling assassin, Jack McVeigh. Most underrated player of the call. Most underrated player of the call. Why not? Do you reckon, I reckon the people from outside of Tasmania mm-hmm. would probably put him in the overrated category. Yeah, probably. probably. For me, I fucking love him. Oh, same. I yeah. think he's a genuine yeah. superstar. Yeah, I love him too. I think his production will probably drop a little bit this year, though. Um, I just think we're a little bit deeper this year than we were in the past. But our man Jack McVeigh uh, has very generously sent along uh, this signed jersey, which will go to the winner of our tipping competition. Oh, wow. Is that the first? Is that the prize? Yeah, that's the prize for the winner of the tipping competition. What so size is it? It's a large, but it's signed. It says, uh, keep shooting. It's going to have to be a and framed one for me if I win it then. Because yeah, a large will not fit me. No, we'll get it framed up. We'll have that framed up ready to go for the uh, regular yeah. season. We'll have him up on the wall up here. But uh, big thanks to our man, Jack McVeigh. He's one of the great humans, not just in basketball, but uh, that we have come across. So uh, if uh, you're not part of the tipping competition yet, you can find that via the link tree on the Instagram. Uh, also holding on to Jared Bairstow. My favourite Jack Jumper. Probably my least favourite. There's a big drop off there. Just lay, I think I could do what he could do. Nah. Nah. He's, he's not I don't know. Well, you know what I like him so much. So he played with Perth when yeah. Rothy was over there, Dan Roth. And then he went to pursue a career as an engineer. Must be smart. And, and then he's come back to basketball. So he must have been that smart. Well, he's, he could still do that job, but just loves to go in basketball. That's pretty cool, I reckon. And he must be in love with Tasmania, because yes. he spends his off-season here too, part of the Chargers. Yes. Oh, he loves it down Kingston Beach. Don't you worry <laughs> about that. Uh, Milton Doyle. Oh, 
Full oh, stuff oh, oh. What a man. What a man. We love him. Oh, he's smooth. Yeah, silky. Real silky smooth. Nearly as smooth as, he, as he's had. Um, Sean McDonald was in the, was a finalist for Most Improved last year. And very well deserving too. I think he takes another step this year too. So you reckon he could go back-to-back finalist Most Improved? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He won't beat Nick Marshall out for the award, but he'll be thereabouts. He might not beat Pinder. <laughs> Pinda three times. Uh, Walter Brown played some time in the World Cup. Sounds like he was disappointed with his minutes that he got. Yeah, the interviews I've heard, but he played two minutes a game for the Jackies last year. You're probably not going to play many for the, uh, the New Zealand All Blacks. Now, he looked a little bit... Oh, the one thing I will say about Walter, this may not be a disrespect to him, he didn't look... He really looked unsure in the haka. Did he? Yes. Looked a bit, a little, little bit lost. He did look a little bit lost. Mm. Far oh. I love the haka. Yeah, it is cool. It's very cool. I uh, love seeing other countries' reactions to it. Yeah. Here's a story for you. When I was at uni, we had, I had to do a dance presentation. Had to teach class, had to do a dance. And I was going to do the haka, but um, my teacher was from New Zealand, wouldn't allow it. The haka. Mm. Uh, also holding on to Will Magne. Played the 18 games last year. Got injured in the off-season <coughs> over in Spain. Saw reports about six to eight weeks ago that he could potentially be out for the season. I've seen one in the last two days. He's going to be ready to go round one. Is there a bit of fact or no cap? A bit of fact or cap know. going on? He's, well, get, he's getting on the plane to the Blitz, though, so. Who wouldn't? It? It's on the Gold Coast. Jeez, you. No, no, he's, he's, maybe he's, well, he's from up that way. Yeah. He's so a maybe roller. He's just, yes. First time I saw the Gold Coast Rollers, I actually thought it was a disability sport. Now, time. that is a team with no salary cap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Deary me. Yeah, they could actually run out and some. They'll, they'll probably beat uh, Illawarra of last year, I reckon. <laughs> Go close. Right, the outs. Um, and we've reviewed most of these, or well, some of these, uh, because they've gone to other teams, but some of them have also just fallen off the radar. So Isaac White and Sam McDaniel gone to the Bullets. Matt Kenyon's gone to South East Melbourne. Jared Weeks has joined the assistant coach board. He's running a competition to go on tour with him. Wow. Yeah, you just need to uh, send the Jackies an email and you can go on a road trip with him. Uh, I think it's early November. Did you enter? Mate, I've entered on all my email addresses. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Uh, Rashad Kelly looks great in the retro kit, but he's he's gone ta-ta. And uh, Josh Majette was awesome for the culture, but I think teams really went to work on him last year. And he got forced out. Yeah, forced him into that little mid-range jump shot, which he uh, didn't hit a lot of, so... As good as he was, he, uh, he was either he's either going off into his career of real estate or into the world of tax, I reckon. Can I start us off with the end? Uh, he yep. actually said that um, Josh Majette didn't hit that mid-range mm. jumper. This man will fucking kill you if you give him yes. a mid-range jumper. <laughs> Crawford. <laughs> Crawford. Oh, my. He looks... I only saw him in that game against... Mm. Uh, Melbourne side that yeah. didn't have much. My word, he can score. Yeah, he put ball in the hoop, that boy. <laughs> he did. And those floaters that he can hit when he yeah. chucks them, like Steph Curry type, mm. like a long way up, he's got that. Yeah. I've seen it in the warm-up about six times in a row. Yeah. It's, he's going to be exciting. Well, I found it very funny when uh, my wife, your sister, said, who's that kid out there warming up with him? <laughs> I said, I'll have you know, that's Floyd Mayweather's cousin. Is it nephew? Nephew, is it? Nephew. Nephew. If Floyd Mayweather spends a night in Hobart, that will be the biggest thing to ever happen to Tasmania. Yeah. Well, it was pretty big when Princess Mary came down last year. Man, a big money man. <laughs> money time. He won't need that security guard to walk around Hobart. That is amazing. Very but yeah, that. I think he's uh, obviously mm. an upgrade on the jet. Huge upgrade. So a backcourt of him and Doyle. Will score the ball. Naughty. Real naughty. Um, now, one thing that concerns me when I saw the signing of Crawford and watched some highlights, he's obviously uh, can put the ball in the hoop as we've spoken about, but I was a little bit concerned about his defensive skills. He'd only ever once in his career been on a team that finished above 500. But I thought he 
defended pretty well at the Blitz, mind you. A pretty subpar looking Melbourne team, but he his looks effort like he, was there. He looks like he's going to bring the energy. Mm. He looks like he could be a pest. Yes. If he's any relation, if it is a mm. blood relation to Mayweather, mm. he may be able to fight too. Well, we, uh, he got in the grill of, um, uh, what's his name? Let me just look at this. Um, uh, give me a second here. What's this? It was the big name? fella. Yeah, the big fella. Big Bowen, was it? No, it wasn't no. Bowen. It was... Um, that big slow fella. No, it was... It was where's, the, where's the next star that they retained? Oh, he mustn't have been... Oh, we mustn't have him on him. Um, the uh, real big fella. Yeah. Like, um, I can't think of his name, but he got up in his grill. He did get up in his grill. Yeah. Clapping in the face, I thought, mm. man, he'd eat you. But maybe he wouldn't. Yeah. He'd okay. call. He's going to be exciting. He is. Um, so him and Doyle in the backcourt, and then we've uh, brought in some more depth at the three. So Drimmage comes in. Good time. Oh, I bloody hated that prick when he was at Adelaide. Or probably on now. Let me rephrase it. I bloody hated him. You're not a prick anymore. <laughs> when he was at Adelaide, he just looked like a punchable bloke. Oh, really punchable, and still does look punchable. Doesn't look <laughs> well, like his appearance the most, hasn't changed. Yeah, <laughs> just doesn't look like the most awesome bloke in the world. But sometimes the most awesome blokes in the world are the best ones for your team. Yeah, absolutely. We love him. He's going to be awesome, I reckon. Yeah, he's I think be. something that we lacked last year was been like, around forever. Yeah, and it's been solid forever. For, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Um, I think something the Jackies have missed in the past, um, we've obviously made a final series, we made the, the final series and a fi- semi-final series in the two years of existence. Um, I think we've been very predictable in terms of like we run sets for certain things, did get the ball through hands really well, but I think we've got a little bit more um, flexibility and versatility on the offensive end. And Drimmage, pretty good defender too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely a really good solid upgrade. Like yeah. you think, you think of where he's going to play, and then you think mm-hmm. of McDaniel and Kenyon. <clears throat> yeah. I think he may be an upgrade. Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah. we've uh, worked our way up there. Uh, McVeigh will probably still start at the four. Um, brought in some other depth on the bench in a uh, couple of. That's Sudanese guys from the World Cup. Junior Madut and Majuk Deng. Now Majuk Deng could be the most unathletic player on our side. No, that's Majuk Majuk. Majuk Majuk. My, my apologies. <laughs> Different Majuk. Majuk Majuk. My apologies. <laughs> yes, no, Majuk Deng, uh, former Taipan. Uh, long, can shoot the ball, can what handle it a little, little bit. Hey, that's what you need. Yeah, I think he'll be a good backup for. Um, pretty similar style to McVeigh, but yeah, I think he'll come off the bench, obviously. And uh, Junior Madut, I thought he was not too bad for South East Melbourne last year. I think he'll be fairly solid as well. Um, now, obviously, McJook, McJook, you've spoken about. I'm, I'm big on this guy. Yeah, I'll be on him. No, Marcus Lee. Oh! Who are, who are you going yes. to say that? Yeah, yeah, Marcus Lee. Let's talk about him. I think this is what Tassie's been lacking since yes. the start of their, their NBL, um, well, I guess you could say existence. A, mm. a genuine big. Mm. Like a, I know Bagne is a genuine big too who can mm. block shots, but we haven't seen enough of him, no. unfortunately. It's just injuries, but... Um, well, this guy eighteen games, seventeen minutes a night last yeah, year. So it's not it's not a huge sample, is it? Whereas this Marcus Lee, we've seen him at Melbourne. Mm. I know his scoring's probably not awesome, but he gives you enough. He'll be lobbing it up, I reckon. And it gives you enough to sit him in the middle of the paint and mm. just know that he's going to rebound it mm. and he's going to contest shots. Yeah, I think he's an awesome addition as well. Yeah, if you're slotting him in ahead of Magno, or is He's the perfect insurance policy. Definitely. Oh, this roster is good. It, it is good, yeah. That's the thing. Like Magne, um, if, if Magne doesn't start, mm. it, it could be a blessing in disguise. Mm. Not having to play as many minutes. Mm. Huge impact. He just come in and play three, four minutes at a time. Because we know he's going to block shots. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what, what he's good at. He's be good at volleyball. And he can... Rise above the rim yeah. when healthy. Yeah. I remember there was a mm. couple of times where the opening play when he played was mm. a lob to him. Yeah, jet from, from a jet. Yeah, so yeah. can play. Yeah, 100%. I, uh, 
I really like what they've done. Um, their outs, I think, there's, Rashad Kelly was good for us, but I think there's a hundred sort of guys like that running around in the world at least. We've we've got, with between Kelly, McIntosh, mm. Mm. in that yeah. undersized, undersized big role, one. I yeah. think Marcus Lee is yeah. finally what yeah. we've been screaming for. Yep, yep, so we've gone a little bit more offence in the backcourt, yep. which I think that is big. In NBL, McVeigh, Drimmage, Lee, it's a pretty good five. It is. And then, then bring it out. Uh, Madut, Ding, Magne, McDonald, Steindl, Krizlovich, dare I say Bear so. Well, that's, that's going to be it. And I mean, I don't think it's as deep as the teams above them. Are we a bit thin on the uh, in the guards? Do you think? I just yeah, I'm probably, probably are. Aren't I'm a little bit worried about. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm. I, I think it's good until you get to about your ninth and tenth guy. Yeah. I think the first eight, good as any. Mm. A few injuries mm. could start to get a little bit worried. So our style of first five and second five will differ quite a lot. You would imagine. Um, I think our second five will play more a traditional jack jumper style of basketball that we've been used to the last couple of years. Whereas I think the first five will really look to get up and down. Yeah. So you reckon the second five gritty, tough? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Annoyed you? Even see uh, if we're a bit thin on the uh, guard rotation. You reckon we see Weeksy come back out? Well, we've got Lock- we've got Lockie Barker as well. Lockie nom- Barker, nominated replacement player mm. too, don't we? Yeah. 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 Not sold on him. Unreal in NBA one. I think he'll be okay. And we'll end up you. Yes, well, let's hope so. But, um, yeah, hopefully we don't need to see too much of him at this level. I thought he probably struggled a little bit in those pre-season games against Melbourne. Um, against a, an under-man side. But we're both pretty high on the Jackies roster this year. Yep, they, they've they slipped that in my six. They're mm. in my top six. Yep. I think they're going to be at the lower ends. Mm. I'll just do an half, won't they, again? Home court's big for them. Yeah. It's, but it's weird, though, because their record doesn't suggest that. And I think, but I think as well, um, I think sometimes having a lack of fans on the road in the NBL mm. can be a real blessing. You're going in that place, hey? So oh, you yeah. want to send everyone home, sad. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a very, very, um, you really would like to beat, like, they've had some massive wins on the road. Mm. Semi-final wins against Melbourne United. That was one of the best nights ever. Wasn't it cool? Was you there? Josh Adams. I went to game one. Yeah. So I went to their first game, opening night against Brisbane, which they won in overtime, with Jeff to Adams for an alley-oop dunk. Yes, (laughs) yes, yep. And then I went to... I went to a couple of games through that year. I think I went three through that year. Uh, And then I went to their first final, which they got beaten in, and uh, Joe Lawala Chul got in McCall McIntosh's grill and then came down to my state and got booed out of the league. <laughs> I couldn't get back over to Melbourne because the, there was no flight after when the game would have finished and the next morning I would have... I wouldn't have been... Uh, I wasn't able to organise to get the work morning off. Yeah, OK. Sad. Yeah, so, yeah, sad. Big, big sad. Um, so obviously would have... Been pretty hard on the cans. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, they're in. What do we grade their off-season? For me, in that B plus, A minus mm. yeah. category. I think yeah. B plus is fair for them. Yep. I think a B plus as well. Still a little bit um, unsure on the depth of guys. Um, mm-hmm. As far as that. But as far as the import slots, massive tick. Yeah, huge tick for the imports, I think. I quite like the guys they've brought in off the bench as well. Yeah, I think a B plus is probably fair. Um, they're above the line. Let's run through it in terms of your prediction of seedings, if we can. So for me, yeah, I've got one. I've got Sydney, Sydney in one, Melbourne, Melbourne, New Zealand, New Zealand in the three. Wow. South East. Yep. Tassie. Yep. Perth. Perth. Yep. Brisbane, Hawks, Cairns, Adelaide. Any order for those ones? No. no. Just miss. Just all miss. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. So I've got Sydney, Melbourne, South East. Then I've got... Have you got New Zealand? Illawarra. Oh, you've got the Illawarra fourth. Yep. Because they're going to beat Sydney round one. And South East Melbourne are going to win up from the three seed. They're so going to, they're they're going to beat Melbourne in a semi-final So like 56 to South Melbourne, you've got Tassie and Perth as well? No, then I've got Tassie, yep. New Zealand, Perth, Brisbane, Cairns, Adelaide. Okay. So you've got Perth missing. I've got Perth missing. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm just thinking, uh, yeah, I don't really like their roster that much at all. Alex Sarr obviously impressed us over the last few days. Um, playing against the G League Ignite, but I, yeah, I just don't think they've got enough depth. That's fair enough. Really? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. Yeah. So, um, we look forward to the Blitz. Yes. And uh, over those couple of weeks, we'll do some work around uh, award predictions and also uh, talking about what's happening in the Blitz as well. So, uh, stay tuned for those and uh, get into the tipping comp for the framed, will be framed, and signed Jack McVay jersey. And also uh, keep an eye out for the NBL super coach work that we'll have coming along the way as well. But that's our, we've done our 10 team wraps. So uh, let the fun begin, mate. It's been fun. And yes, counting mm. down the days of the season now. Yeah. Aren't we? It's not many. Right, See you, bro. Bye.